What's up everyone, this is Tucker Jobs and welcome back to Tactic Testing. The tactic you can see behind me right here is from FM Scouts, Naps Tactics Table. It is the Preaching Blues 451. Uh, hopefully it will do alright. End of the day, it is a nap tactic, so they are pretty powerful. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the video, all the instructions and all of the results. <laughs> Welcome back then everybody. So first up the teams that are involved in this test are Manchester United, Burnley, Nottingham Forest and Doncaster. And uh, yeah, so there's some top teams. It is classed as a sub to top tactic. Alright, so I'm going to try it with some sub to top teams, which is Manchester United and Nottingham Forest. The other two teams... Roughly mid to low, maybe underdogs with Burnley. Uh, so we're going to see what the results are with them, see what the stats are, the uh, analytics, see what uh, see what's going on, see if it's actually suited or it might work. We do not know yet until the end of the season. But uh, yeah, so this is the tactic. Let's get on with the individual instructions. So everyone who can't download the tactic can still follow the instructions and uh, replicate it as best as possible. Advanced forward, winger left. Winger right, which is marked specific position. Uh, specific positions, defender left for your right and the defender right for your left guy. Obviously, self-explanatory. Uh, Mozilla left, the Mozilla right. Defensive midfielder, wing back left. Wing back right, which is also marked specific position. And that would be the attacking left for your right defender and attacking right for your... Uh, left defender and then ball playing defender left ball playing defender right and the sweeper keeper set piece instructions corners defending right and left and attacking left and right with your taker uh, aiming for the near post free kick instructions defending right and left and attacking left and right with the taker uh, using mixed instructions uh, small chance of shot, right and left, and that's mixed again. Wide, left and right, mixed once again, and deep, right and left, uh, with mixed again there. And then throwing instructions, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and it is the long throwing, of course. Uh, so yeah, that is the individuals and the set pieces. The tactic itself is an attacking mentality in possession, fairly wide attacking width with play out defense in the approach play, slightly more direct passing directness with a higher tempo, mixed crosses in the final third, work ball into box and run at the defense. In transition, counter press and counter, and your goalkeeper in possession, his job is to distribute to the fullbacks and throw it long. And then out of possession, much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line. You are forcing the opposition outside when they are attacking you. Uh, extremely urgent press intensity with a prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction is on so uh yeah that's the tactic two attacking mozillas uh i can understand with just this positions there and the attacking wing backs why this would be a top or sub top tactic because um with the mozillas being on the attack they are sometimes going to be in the box just as much as your strikers are um and that will leave a massive dent in this midfield with the wing backs being attacking as well they will also be high up chances are your defensive midfielder will be isolated in that middle and uh, he may struggle on the counters because at the end of the day you may be in situations where you will only have three players in the back so okay uh so let's get on then with uh, the selected 11 for the uh, tactic obviously these players will change because the players do not get locked in when i test the tactics this is manchester united burnley nottingham forest and doncaster stay tuned for the end of the video guys so you can have a look at all of the results and all the numbers as well Welcome back, end of the season, so let's have a look first in the Premier League with Manchester United and Burnley. So Manchester United are a top team, they finished three points behind Man City and second place overall and that's not bad, alright, 74 goal difference as well, far better than all the other teams. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't actually get any players in the top three uh, for goals when it came to Manchester United or Burnley, Burnley 8th. Not bad, considering this tactics class as a sub to top, Burnley are an underdog team and they finished 8th, they were literally 3 points behind 7th place and qualifying for Europe. So let's have a look at the top 3 Zen players that are in here and it is pretty much 
or Manchester United players. All right, there's no players uh, in the top three for Burnley apart from yellow cards, but we don't count the yellow cards. I say it all the time. Uh, so average rating, Fernandez and Teles. All right, you are your Mozilla for Fernandez. That's where he played most of the time. And then Teles is your left back. Uh, 7.6752, first and second assists. Fernandez again with 15 assists in the league. And then player of the matches, Fernandez came first with 10 of them with De Gea. Coming joint second with clean sheets. So well done there um, for Manchester United. So uh, let's have a look at the competitions then. So runners up in the Champions Cup. That's a shame they went out. Lost against PSG in extra time. 3-2 as well. Oh, gutted Manchester United. Um, English FA Cup, they won that. And in the final, they went up against Leicester. 2-0 win there. And the Carabao Cup, they were also runners up. So yeah. They lost 3-2 to Man City. That's a shame. You don't really want to lose to your big rivals. And it just seemed like a bit of a season of runners-up for Manchester United this time around. Don't get me wrong. If I ran the test again, would they probably win the league? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's possible. It's it's highly possible that that could have happened as well. But you all know me, guys. I do the one test. Um, it might not be the most accurate for it, thing in the world because I think I understand um, you need probably like 20 tests. 20 run-throughs and then find an average and that would be probably your more concrete answer um but we don't do that we don't do that uh so yeah not bad not bad at the end of the day all right they were in a shot and they could have won everything they could have won everything they could have got four competitions under the belts this season uh, on any other day so let's have a look at the schedule then. Some big boy results. Head-to-head -head first against Burnley. Uh, first time you played them, you actually played Forest as well. Look, hey, hey, you beat them 4-0 though. So we know Forest actually went out in the Carabao Cup semi-final, which is actually pretty far for Forest. Um, so Burnley, a 2-1 win to Manchester United the first time they played. And the second time they played Burnley, it was a 5-2 win. So yeah, Man U got the up hand on both games there. Other results though, 7-0, uh, Newcastle, 7-0. Uh, 6-2, Man City, awesome result, great result there, 5-2 against Chelsea, um, let's have a look, 5-0 West Brom, big results, Tottenham, Fulham, Middlesbrough, 4 goals, 4 goals, 5 goals, Oldham, 6 goals, yeah, big score lines, 7-1 Southampton, 7-1, yeah, <laughs> it's there, it's there, uh, let's have a look at your squad then, so oh, look at all those players, average rate in this tactic worked a treat. Manchester United and looking at all the highlights looking at the gameplay looking at how it's uh how, how the movement goes Bruno Fernandes was the best player 21 goals 28 assists all right sometimes most of those assists might be um, helped along with the fact that he probably took most of the set pieces uh, and the free kicks uh, and then after him was Telles with 7.46 but biggest goal scorers look at this Paul Pogba 25 and 9. He was one of them attacking at Mozilla's. Uh, Martial, your, goal, uh, your striker, sorry, uh, 24 goals. Third highest goal scorer overall, Fernandez. He was your second attacking Mozilla. I was watching the highlights and tell you what, with a big team, with the right players, with quality players that have got what it takes to take that role on properly, you have got some dangerous midfielders. They are in the box just as much. As your strikers, they are there, they are scoring, they are supplying, and they are incredible. They are literally what you would want if you are trying to replicate the people like um oh, Gerard Scholes, all right. The people that's the midfielders that actually score, they are that dangerous. Um so yeah, awesome. Attacking Mozilla's in the right team and a strong team do very, very well. Uh, biggest creators in your team then, Fernandez, Tellus, Basaka, and uh, Van Der Beek, 28, 18, 15, and 12. And then let's have a look at your team report. On a whole, pretty much dominated the English Premier League averages all about there. Look, predicted over two goals, you're actually scoring 2.61. Conceded 0 0.66, which is great. Loads of shots. Scoring, attacking efficiency, aggressive and clinical, and then conceding you are quiet and impenetrable. So well done. Full stats is 166 goals with only 49 conceded in all competitions. And when it comes to the league, 99 goals and only 25 conceded. Awesome for Manchester United. Let's check out Burnley and let's see the difference between this tactic when it's played with a top team and 
now an underdog team. So they finished in a very good position for who they are. The predicted 16th may even catch a little bit of a relegation battle. Um, in eighth place is a great finish. Competitions first. FA Cup went out in the third round against Tottenham. And the Carabao Cup third round against Norwich. Schedule. Some of the... Yeah. Big difference there. Big difference. They had a little bit of a better um, second half of the season. Or end of February. Pretty good. Start of the season. I'm surprised I didn't get sacked. I'm really surprised I didn't get sacked at some point, maybe at the end of December. Oh dear. Well, there's the difference anyway. Uh, some results anyway. So Liverpool 3-3. Good result there. Uh, drew against Newcastle. You got a West Brom win 2-0. Uh, start of the season, you beat uh, Southampton 2-1. West Ham 1-0. End of the season, then let's have a look. So Man City, 2-1, Leeds 3-2. Alright, you're picking up some good results now at the end of the season. Everton 2-0, 1-0 uh, against Fulham, Tottenham 4-3, Sheffield United 4-2. So it's a little bit of a downer, but can you expect a lot from Burnley? It is not the best nap tactic I've tested. There is far, far better ones out there. If you are a fan of the shape, though, if you are a fan of the idea of your Mozilla's, of your quality midfielders getting in the box, getting on the end of goals, then it might be the one for you. Uh, so let's have a look at the squad then. Yeah, <laughs> only one player. One player got 7.09. Best player was Brownhill. Uh, biggest goal scorers? Oh, no, not even one goal scorer got above double digits in all competitions. It's a shame. All right, so Rodriguez and Barnes, 9 and 8. Biggest creators are Brownhill and Westwood, 11 and 10. So, yeah, maybe for this tactic to be fully effective, you need to be a top team or sub-top team, which is, I don't know, top 6, top 7, um, to actually have a better effectiveness of this tactic, to have more quality demonstrations of how this tactic can go uh, when you've got the right players in your team. So team report, yeah, you can see it all here, look, on a general performance, 1.53 expected score. So that's a little bit high. At the end of the day, you are on the top ends of the averages, but for a nap tactic, probably not the best thing to see in the world. Um, but don't get me wrong, training, all right? Press conferences, the way you play the game, the way you use your shouts can all make a massive difference. So I do these tests, I do these run-throughs and simulations to have a little bit of an idea or understanding of how it might go. Um, but it can always change, it can always be improved by you lot. And that's what we always say, just improve the tactic. Do your own tweaks, make it yours. Uh, have fun. Have fun fun <laughs> so let's have a look at the analyst report then so scoring attacking efficiency it's actually snowing at random it's snowing uh so you are pretty much on the line of aggressive and clinical and passive and clinical so at least your percentages for your goal conversions is pretty high or decent when it comes to the averages um, but you are Waste it, not wasting. You're not getting the shots on target. Some games you are, other games, and that's probably why you're sticking in the middle right there. Conceding, again, quiet and leaky. Not bad, actually. That's not bad. You are nearly close to getting into the busy and leaky, which is you never want to be there. Uh, so quiet and leaky is probably ex acceptable for a team like Burnley and how they've done this season. Uh, so full stats then. Only 62 goals and 65 conceded. Don't use this tactic with Burnley, everyone. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they finished in a good position. But the stats say no. No, no. No, no. So 62 goals and you conceded more. Don't like that. Home in the actual league, you only scored 58 and uh, conceded, yeah, 62. So, oh. Yeah, that would have been depressing to watch, definitely. <laughs> when you've got a striker that can't even get double digits, um, it's probably something that you don't want to uh, incorporate into your team. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> maybe with a few tweaks, maybe with the way you play your tactics and training, it might improve. Um, but this time around on this test, Burnley didn't do well re regardless of their league position. So Nottingham Forest are a sub-to-top team in the championship. How did they do? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's more like it. 102 points for Nottingham Forest, 55 goal difference, only lost six times. Competitions, um, we'll have a look in a second, but top threes so far then, it was all about Freeman, it was all about Graben. All right, Graben came first on goals with 30. Freeman is on loan, he was your Mozilla, and he also played on the left-hand side. Uh, came second, 7.38. Freeman again with assists, came first with 27. 27 league assists for Freeman. Um, most of his games were play, played on that left-hand side, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why um, he contributed a lot more. Uh, and then uh, Freeman again, player of the matches, 11, uh, came second. Clean sheets, Samba with 19 for him, came second. So competitions then for Nottingham Forest. FA Cup went out against Brighton. And the Carabao Cup, we've already seen it, they went out against Manchester United in the semi-final schedules then. Nice. It was all looking good for Nottingham Forest. The big teams of the championship, who would you say? Brentford, yeah. Uh, Bournemouth, yeah. Norwich, yeah. So let's have a look at those results then. So uh, Bournemouth beat them 2-1. Nice result. Watford 1-0. Norwich lost against them. Brentford beat them 4-0. Great result there. Millwall 4-1. Borough 2-1. 3-1. Notts County. Um, in the cup, obviously a little bit of a local rivalry there. A five nil Rotherham. End of the season, finished strong. All right, we went unbeaten from the seventeenth of the second all the way to the end of the season, which is absolutely fantastic uh, for Nottingham Forest squad. Yeah, very well, very well done. All right, quite a lot of players there getting decent average ratings. With your best player being Luke Freeman, twenty nine assists. Let's have a look at his tactical development. Attacking midfielder left was played thirty one times, and that's where he got most of his assists. Look, twenty three. Incredible player for Nottingham Forest. Um, very well done. Biggest goal scorers? Graben. 40 goals altogether with Joe Worrell after him on 11. Biggest creators? Luke Freeman and Lolly with 29 and 9. The difference is immense. The difference is immense. Um, so again, it, it proves that this tactic did well for a lower, t lower league team, but uh, obviously a higher class in that league. Um, but the Mozillas aren't doing as well as the Manchester United are. So that is telling me maybe is it a top team tactic and it will fully realise its potential in a world-class team. Uh, and if it is, it's a shame because it's always nice to have plug-and-play tactics for any league, any season, any time of the day, and it does well. Um, don't get me wrong, this has done well, but it's showing that for an elite team, for a world-class team, like for a PSG, for a Liverpool, are their Mozillas going to be incredible? Uh, and banging in all of the goals um, but unfortunately it won't do it for the other teams for the lower teams for the low league teams for the new startups for the uh, underdogs um, so yeah okay team report let's have a look on a whole bossed it all right you are far outdoing the others on the on, on the general performances um, analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical and then conceding you are quiet and impenetrable <clears throat> which is where you want to be uh, so let's have a look at the full stats 115 goals not a lot but it's all right and 50 conceded which is not too bad uh overall that is so home it was actually 96 goals scored which was the best in the league and uh 41 goals conceded which was also the best in the league so well done there to forest last up is doncaster all right doncaster are in league one they are a ninth so a middle-ish team i would say would you say they are sub top just on the outside rings um but they did well they got fourth they got into the playoffs unfortunately they lost in those playoffs and didn't didn't get promoted um but you're finishing in the right in the right zones for a mid-table team fourth place is half decent and uh yeah you've got a couple of players in the top threes as well with is that john jules uh yeah came second with 21 goals and then james came at first with 11 assists let's have a look at your competitions FA Cup went out, Carabao Cup went out, Papa John's Trophy went out. All right, you're not going to win the you're not going to win the FA Cup or Carabao Cup realistically with a team like Doncaster in the first season. Um, but it's it's interesting to see how far you actually get. And fourth round against Leicester, how did you actually do? Four two. So that's not too bad. You're League One against a strong Premier League team. Um, so let's have a look at the schedule then. So yeah, not too bad. All right, had a little bit of a bad end to the season. Maybe that would have been all the difference in how the uh, season would have ended um, and then yeah so let's have a look at some of the scores then so um again you are picking up some big score lines four goals what uh, six two fleetwood four nil plymouth 
Right, 2 1, 2 nils, 4 nils, 5 2, Ipswich, great result. 6 2, Portsmouth, another great result. Um, squad, not as many this time. Uh, on the average ratings above seven best player was reese james okay 15 assists for him he was your left back uh, 7.22 and your biggest goal scorers then so you got john jules and um yeah what a name that is taylor richards and this middle guy there fijiri okimbiri am i close i don't know any doncaster supporters there am i close don't like that name <laughs> um 25 goals 19 goals and 17 goals and once again uh you haven't got any mozillas all right chances are did he play as a mozilla yeah so he was the actual mozilla so 17 goals once again for a mozilla so it might not have shown so much with burnley or forest but it's showing that it can happen in the lower leagues as well um so that's that's great news actually so yeah it's possible that it can do very well indeed um and the biggest creators in the team was james smith and coppinger or coppinger um 10 11 and 15 team report not too bad not too bad obviously conceding per game is right at the top of the averages so you're still doing well there but um goals per game expected goals shots per game are doing very well indeed and then full analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical right at the top as well you're getting so many shots compared to the rest of the league and conceding you are very quiet and leaky so you're not getting a lot of shots but with most instance instances with the lower leagues it's a bit iffy when it comes to conversion rates because your quality of your team is not as good so yeah some daft goals may be going in uh, and that makes explain why she's a bit leaky uh, full stats 119 goals not too bad 73 conceded a little bit on the high side uh, but again it's the lower league can you be a little bit more forgiving uh, and then overall in the league it was actually 97 goals which was the best and 61 conceded which was the 12th best so you're 12th there which wasn't great to be fair 12th you are it's lower than the bottom isn't it really 24 teams you are bang in the middle when it comes to goals conceded uh, so once again like i've always said a little bit of human touch all right training everything can take be taken into account when uh, uh with the effect is effectiveness of a tactic um, but it definitely wasn't the best nap tactic it was a good one it was a decent one i'm sure you lot can make it much much better so let us know in the comments what you do what changes you make to actually make this loads more effective um if it's not working for you if it is working for you if it's absolutely storming it you have the right players everything is going incredible then yes fantastic uh download link is in the description it will send you to the fm scout naps tactics table which is worth a look there's a lot of tactics on there a lot of tactics on there um so you might find a shape that you enjoy you want to incorporate into your team and then go for it um i'm tucker jobs hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you consider joining the discord all right a lot of people are joining now which is absolutely fantastic subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos and uh, comment all right i always try and get back to you when you comment and if you're in the discord then have chat chat away and i'll try and get back to you there so yeah so enjoy save everyone this is tucker jobs see you later bye